Hey guys, this is Ujjal Kumar Sen, and you're watching Ujjal Kumar Sen English YouTube channel. So, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about what computer science versus mechanical engineering in India. So, we'll look into there are many aspects. Basically, there are many things we can compare, like uh, which one is easy. After completing which engineering, we can get more scope. and definitely future after 10 years or 5 years salary basically and stability as well so we will look into all these aspects one by one so that you can understand about this branch quite easily and you can choose any one of these two so most of the students ask me this question only because they want to know both the sides advantages and disadvantages for a kind information i have already created separate videos for mechanical as well as computer science and engineering so let's get get uh, let's get into the college selection and uh, admission process so yes there is difference little really difference in admission process if you got similar rank then probability of getting mechanical branch is easier as compared to computer science because of the demand most of the students want to get admission in computer science especially girls right boys also obviously so there is a reason behind this because of the working place most of the engineering students mechanical engineering students they usually work in workshop or maybe in a factory so those are non acs you will not you are not going to see fancy factories right they will have tin shed and all those things right except you are not working in r and d department but in the case of my dear word computer science engineering most of the, most of the people work in a fancy building with ac and there are a lot of perks you can get inside the building also so there is one advantage and disadvantage i share with you next if you look into the study my dear then computer science and mechanical both have different teams both different subjects right after uh, first year first year may have some uh, similar subjects right you have to if you are getting computer science even then you have to study one subject of mechanical you are getting mechanical you have even then my dear you have to study one subject of what at least computer science so there is similarities right so my dear now most important thing is that which one is easy so no one is easy i must say that it is totally depend on you right i mean it is totally depend on your interest yes if you want to use logic then computer science is easier if you are very good in logic creation and if you are very good in mathematics or formulas or imagination then uh, mechanical or if for image imagination mechanical computer science both but formula numerical calculation and uh, design part also then mechanical is little little having edge so department wise mechanical having different departments right automobile manufacturing design quality uh, purchasing marketing right as well as my dear you can work in thermal power plant right so all these are departments all these are different places of mechanical engineering to work but in case of computer science there are different fields like software development web development android the app development testing and uh, customer support tech support right architecture i mean uh, the design right so all these are uh, things are there in case of uh, computer science engineering so this is about the study and uh, your departments you can choose after completing engineering now let's dive into the depth that is what salary obviously if you look computer science engineering the probability of getting much sal more salary in uh, in after completing btech is in computer science engineering only not in mechanical doesn't matter which college we belong to look at the highest package in uh, in this year also the highest package was 1.53 crore and that to a student belong to one of the student belong to computer science engineering so this is happening most of the time that means from beginning it is happening right from very beginning it is happening all right so i hope you are getting me so now look at the salary package say so it is totally and totally depend on you first thing and second mind that is very very important that is what your college your first salary would be depend on you right as well as my dear word college so your capability and the college is bringing companies uh, inside the campus based on that you can decide you, you can you, uh, it will decide matter how much salary you are going to get now let's take an example of type of colleges first year colleges that means top 15 20 colleges in india 
maybe iit right so from there you can get average package around to my dear uh, 12 lakhs 15 lakhs rupees if you are doing computer science engineering it will be bit higher for mechanical little less on average if you are doing my dear uh, next thing what mechanical engineering the average package will be 10 lakhs in top tier college sometimes if you are lucky enough if you are uh, you are exceptional you can get good package also there is no doubt in that right now from second year college the placement from nit is top nit so for computer science 10 lakhs 12 lakhs for mechanical 8 lakhs 7 lakhs right for fourth year college 3.6 for uh, computer science mechanical 2.4 and if you will go for off campus placement then almost same or similarity is there but after doing 5 years of job the salary will be different suppose that you are studying in mechanical engineering with on average with 10000 rupees per month this is obvious my dear don't get uh, don't feel awkward okay only 10000 per month yes there are a lot of students getting salary 10000 per month after completing mechanical even after completing computer science engineering in india there are a lot of students what you heard in the news channels or newspapers or anywhere right on media social media also these are fancy things every day is not get, everybody is not getting you know 20 lakhs package or 1 crore package majority of the students are getting 25000 package after working few years 25 30 35000 30, 30, i know many of my students completing mechanical mechanical engineering uh, i mean 8 9 years ago few of them are still getting only 35 40 10 rupees per month right and average package they're getting 45 thousand per month now after working 8 years after mechanical engineering but in computer science it is different average package is around 55 thousand per month 10 thousand is difference there even you are from very mediocre college so that is the biggest difference between in a, in a salary between mechanical and computer science engineering now stability well stability is totally depend on you you are offered as well as my dear market condition right now let's talk about government jobs yes if you look into the whole things all the government jobs then mechanical engineering having more government jobs as compared to computer science engineering like psus right psus are there state government companies are there right even there are a lot of automobile companies are established already and also establishing nowadays big companies are coming from different different countries they are establishing the factories in india so probability of getting good job also in india after mechanical engineering is not that much less but government job yes there are many government jobs for mechanical engineers but many doesn't mean that you are going to get job without preparation you have to prepare well very well even because competition is tough everybody in india wanted to get government job right that is the biggest problem i think so that's why you will see a lot of crowd inside the coaching center as well as outside the coaching center in india now for government job in computer science engineering yes of course you can get government job after completing computer science engineering through gate other psus also but little less little lesser than mechanical engineering now let's come to the very very important point that is what my dear just listen to me very carefully that is what yes if you want to become teacher after mechanical engineering you can become teacher in polytechnic or iti after mt you can become teacher in colleges after phd you can become teacher any anywhere right but in computer science engineering if you want to be, if you want to become teacher in a school my dear like after cat tat examination teachers eligibility test examination you don't need to go for bed but after mechanical engineering you have to go for bed for computer science bed is not required you can write the examination directly and you can get selected right so that is the biggest advantage of computer science engineering if you are interested in a schooling field to get a job in government as well as in private sector because bed is not required for you now let's come back to the point that is what matters is very very important higher education yes for higher education there are two things my dear majorly there are two things one is what mba and the other one is what mtech for doing mtech from top notch institute like iits or even nits that is one biggest examination in india happening every year all around the corner even internationally you can write the examination that is gate yes through gate you are going to get uh, you know opportunity you will get opportunity to get job in psus where you can get package even to up to 20 lakhs ctc 20 lakhs rupees per year ctc right 
for mechanical for computer science little less because the companies i am talking about those hire most of the time those hires uh, those companies hire only my dear only and only mechanical engineering computer science around 12 lakhs 14 lakhs the ctc right out uh, through gate but again i am telling you this uh, the vacancies are very less for computer science engineering as compared to mechanical in psc was in india every year almost what i have seen so far in last 5 6 years i am sharing with you now let's come back to the point that is what my dear mba yes you can do mba through cat mat as well as jat in india the package after mba from iim ahmedabad average package is 22 lakhs from top iits if you do mba every package is around 8 9 even 10 lakhs so these all things i've shared with you after looking at all the things my dear you can decide which one to, uh, which one is best branch for you at the at the end i will tell you definitely if you want to get best branch my dear try to get the best college for you if you haven't done 12th yet then i will definitely tell you go for iit advance and get good college it will make huge difference because you will get a platform to do perform better if you go to very small college you will have very a very small or maybe you will not have platform to perform what will you do so my dear i will recommend you give your best to crack the iit advance with very good rank or marks so that you can get admission in best college if you admission in best college the probability of getting success would be much much easier than you will get worst college let me give an example it will become uh, quite easier for you suppose one student is i mean on an average i'm talking about exceptional cases always there i'm not from iit but it's still iit and it's working for me right so th this is not an you know this is not an average case it's an exceptional case i cannot consider this and tell you okay go to that college and get admission right so let me do an example suppose that the student is completing btech from uh, iit bombay the package he got 15 lakhs per annum now a student is uh, passing from very small college right package to 2.4 lakhs per annum after 10 years what will happen 15 lakhs person will getting around uh, maybe 25 lakhs per annum and 24 lakh 2.4 lakhs uh, that means 27 per month person will get not more than even i don't think so uh, 6 lakhs per annum after 5 years so my dear this is the huge difference right so i hope you got some real information from this video thank you very much for watching this video like this video share with your friends and if you are new to the channel my dear subscribe to the channel press on the bell icon thank you much for watching bye bye see you soon god bless you all thank you